My hair is gotten from an Arabic word, haram, which means unacceptable, illegal, prohibited, or something that is sacred or bad. Mahrams are those that we are not supposed to get married to. Mahrams are those that are related to us in one way or another. While non mahrams are those that are not closely related to us, these are people we are allowed to get married to or permitted to get married to. Mahram are, in essence, your siblings by blood, siblings by breastfeeding. Siblings through marriage and your ancestry, either through blood or marriage. Enumerating the three types of maram, the Quran says, prohibited to you for marriages are your mothers, daughters, sisters, mothers, sisters, fathers, sisters, your milk mothers, those who nursed you, your nursing mothers. Also, prohibited to you for marriages are the wives of your sons, born of your own loin. The mahams by blood type specifically include your parents, your grandparents and other ancestors the siblings of your parents, your siblings, the children of your siblings, that is your nieces and your nephews, and your children and other descendants. Mahram by marriage or in-laws include parents, grandparents, and further ancestors of the spouse, whether they are ancestors from the male or female. Children, grandchildren, or further descendants of the spouse, whether male or females. Spouse of parents, grandparents, and further ancestors of the spouse, whether they are male or females. Spouse of children, grandchildren, and further descendants of the spouse, be they males or females. There are some things that you are not supposed to do with a non mahram For example, you are not supposed to touch them. Like when you are in a group and you are and you are greeting them and you are shaking the people and you reach a non mahram you are not supposed to shake person so you find another way to greet them and secondly you're not supposed to be in a confined place with them so like if you're in a class you and a non mahram you are advised to go out of the class or you have a third party with you and you should not see them without a hijab and you should not be seen without a hijab non mahram should follow the bubble rule which is a male mahram and a female mahram should not be too close should not get too comfortable within each other with, with each other a male non mahram should not see a female non mahram without a hijab. And a female non mahram should, not, should try not to be seen by a male ma non mahram without a hijab. Non mahram are, in essence, people like your sisters in law, your brother in laws, even your girlfriends are, no, are non mahram.